Hello everybody, it's Rick again with the UAV Reaper from YouTube to you. So, at this stage in the tutorial, um, and if you guys are kind of wondering, I don't, uh, I don't videotape a lot of the things that uh, I construct, only um, I'm locked up in a lot of patent rights right now with different stuff, one of them being this... Uh, front uh, strut I uh, blueprinted this and set it all up and machined it all myself and and uh, I can build them cheaper than the Robart struts and I think they're tougher than Robart so anyway we'll step by step through this rather than actual procedural builds if you guys have questions you can post comments to uh, the narrative below so at this point we have the elevator servos installed uh, I only I have one hooked up temporarily kinda get a good shot of that I had to build that bridge inside there to make room for them uh, this throw arm here will get changed to one like this that I'll modify like that so it has the proper forward throw as it throws forward I needed a high angle right here and uh, to give you an idea th this is loose in, inside the 256 connector right now uh, I have some solderable ones coming that will actually be the ones I use but uh, the elevator does work kinda get an idea of the throw uh, these are digital servos so I'll program them for the throw and everything motors in I uh, got quite a bit of work I gotta do down here for the rudder uh, this is gonna be a true test of feet here but my servo is gonna sit right there I'm gonna give it an accurate 90 degree throw uh, my elevators have an offset 90 degree throw and they're working pretty good so that's where we're at in the back this is what she's starting to shape up to look like I'll show you what the front looks like now at this point uh, I just cut out all the factory crap they had set up for the landing gear and I epoxied my support blocks in there for the landing gear Underneath here, I have uh, two brass, one inch wide pieces of flat metal that go, sorry, that go this way. And what we'll do is drill up through the forward one and through that center block. And our landing gear will attach to this firewall. Um, I'm actually going to use a Robart strut on this one. I've got a, uh, another UAV that's quite a bit bigger than this. That uh, the one I manufactured is going to go on. I originally was going to use it on this, but for height purposes, uh, it'll benefit the other aircraft I have. And there will be a video about that one later. But so now the next step you can see is I'll need to drill and get the strut mounted in here. I'm gonna double back this firewall, thicken it up, make it make it pretty strong. I'll probably do some corner bracing right here to uh, stiffen this all up. Uh, you can see this line here, there, and again on this side. All that's gonna get cut out. So all this will be removed. I'm removing this, the center brace. And so what I'll have is wood, a wood brace that goes all the way around, but I'm gonna hollow it out basically. And the battery for this ship is gonna ride right it back in here. So my telemetry unit, another battery will ride right here for the ball turret camera. Uh, making some headway on the ball turret. Uh, posted the last video 
uh, that gave you guys an idea what it looked like. Uh, it's starting to take shape. I'm starting to get kind of excited here. It's been kind of painful um, putting this whole thing together, but you can take a good shot down inside there and see them servos down there in the back end and uh, a lot of modifications I am the kind of person that I can't take anything for what I buy it as I modify everything so anyway I've never had one uh, fail from my modifications uh, that's what I do for a living basically it's modify automated equipment and so hopefully you guys are as excited as I am I'm hopefully there's people following this hopefully some can learn and hopefully I can learn from some others so this is where we're at with the UAV Reaper and my next post I'll have the landing gear in and all this cut out and uh, we'll be building a battery bed inside here getting that all ready so until then